300 calories for everything. The entire 9x9 tray made this. Each piece is less than 20 calories. What more do I have to say? And they're high protein, healthy, and low calorie. Let's make them. Today, we're gonna fill up this entire 9x9 inch pan, the size of my head, with brownies. This entire pan of brownies is gonna be under 300 calories, which means if you cut it into 12 pieces, each piece is less than 25 calories. Protein healthy brownies, let's bake them. But first we gotta make them. We wanna start with a blender because we need to blend some oats and erythritol. One quarter cup or 20 grams of oats. If you don't have oat flour, don't buy it. Just buy regular oats and blend them. It's so much cheaper. This entire thing of oats is like a few dollars. This thing of oat flour would be like 20 bucks. Don't fall into the hype guys. We need a sugar replacement. I'm using erythritol. It's the best in my opinion. You can use any sugar replacement you want. That's going to keep these calories real low. And we want to blend it because the powdered sugar gives these a better consistency. And this is granular. And don't buy powdered sugar. It's expensive for no reason. Just blend your sweetener. Half cup of this, which is 96 grams. If you don't like brownies too sweet, you could use a bit less. If you like it super sweet, you could use a bit more. It's completely up to you. But around half cup is usually really good. Optional, but highly recommended, some instant coffee granules. Just a pinch of this. It brings out the chocolatiness and you don't even know it's there. So just add some and then forget about it. And if you're like me, add a little more. Cocoa powder. A half cup of this, that's 40 grams. There are two types of cocos in this world. Well, there's more, but two main ones. There's regular natural cocoa, which is super, super light. It looks like this. And then there's dark cocoa, which by the name is dark. This is less bitter, but also a little bit less chocolatey. I'm gonna use 30 grams of dark cocoa. And then 10 grams of regular cocoa. Whatever cocoa you have, just use that. It's no big deal, but I like the balance of both. And some salt. And the last thing is just a little pinch of baking powder. And now we blend all these powders up until they become a dust. Everything's blended up and I don't see any chunks of oats, which means we're good to go. Dump out all your dry ingredients into a bowl. And there we go, we have our brownie mix. You can meal prep this if you want, make a ginormous batch, keep it in a bag, and then just measure out these servings for the nine by nine pan every time you make them. Put your brownie mix to the side. Next, we wanna whip up three egg whites. I cracked them all by myself. Impressive, I know. Beat these on high for a few minutes until they foam up and get thick and whippy. And after a few minutes, we got the egg whites whipped up and they're thick and fluffy. We have our brownie mix. Now we add an entire three quarters cup of Greek yogurt. This adds a ton of protein and keeps these super moist. 170 grams of the thickest Greek yogurt you could find. The Greek yogurt replaces all the need for any butter, any oil, all that stuff. Get that junk out of these brownies. We don't need them. Some vanilla extract. And two tablespoons of almond milk, which is 30 grams. The entire recipe, all the measurements will be in the pinned comment down below. And since we already have our whisking sticks out, start to mix this. Be patient, it's gonna take some time. It's gonna look like it needs more liquid, but it doesn't. Just wait until you get a batter. Brownie batter, come on but give it a quick taste to just taste the sweetness. If you want more sweetness, add some. I don't because I like a super, super rich dark chocolate brownie. For a better idea on the thickness of this, this is how thick it is. I can be here all day. It's like a super gooey, fudgy batter. And now we wanna add our egg whites. Add one third of the egg whites in, and then just whisk it with your sticks. We don't care about keeping this as fluffy as possible. We just want all of it incorporated very, very evenly. Just one minute later, that's whipped up. Add your second third.
and then add all the rest. Now our batter is completely ready. Look at this. It is so beautiful. This entire bowl is under 300 calories and it's gonna fill up this nine by nine inch pan. Now we're gonna put some parchment paper on. And on today's episode of what will I use to hold my parchment paper down? We are back with fridge magnets. Nine by nine pan filled with brownie batter edge to edge. Give yourself like 100, 150 calories to add whatever toppings you want. Maybe a couple servings of chocolate chips, some Reese's chips, some Reese's pieces. Can you tell I'm into chocolate and peanut butter? But I'm gonna keep these really simple, no toppings. In these go into the oven at 375 degrees for 18 minutes and I'll see you soon. Exactly 18 minutes on the dot. That's hot still. I let it cool for a few minutes, but clearly I'm not patient enough. Knife. Now my fault, piece came off. Are you guys a corner people or a middle people? Cause I like the middle. Two hundred and ninety-six calories for this entire batch. Eighteen and a half calories per piece. If you make sixteen, I can't wait any longer. We need to try these. They're amazing. They're rich, they're dark, they're chocolatey, and they're really moist. And look at it. The top, it's got that brownie skin too. The inside is super gooey, but that top, it's got that crispiness to it, that brownie skin to it, and it snaps like that. And sometimes, I like to take just a tiny bit of salt, literally just one salt flake, maybe three, put it right on top. That saltiness cuts the chocolate and it makes it really, really good. So go enjoy one brownie or an entire nine by nine pan of brownies. It's up to you. Thank you so much for watching this video. Give it a like if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you in the next video.